get out of here. Hey guys, Tima signing in and today I'm going to be bringing you another squad builder but before I get into that, a few things I need to talk about. Firstly, I'm not feeling too good as you could probably tell by my voice. Second is, I'm very close to 5,000 subscribers so I might be doing a Q&A as part of me hitting 5k subscribers. So if you're not following me on Twitter, head over on Twitter and follow me at Team at Connections. Also, since you like my foot draft videos so much, I thought I might be doing some more foot draft videos but I want to try something new, try something different and change things up so if you're not follow me on snapchat follow me on snapchat I'll put the thing on the screen somewhere if you go on your snapchat and literally point your phone at the screen it will literally add me for you hey these people are too clever and for everyone who adds me send me a snap with this video and i will follow all of you back Nevertheless, today I'm bringing you a hybrid squad formation. It's the 4-3-2-1. Most of you by now probably know I really do like using this formation when I'm going for hybrid teams or sweat teams. This is pretty much a BPL and Serie A hybrid. I like both of the leagues. I like the players in the league, so I thought I might as well do this. Starting us off as the goalkeeper, we have Handanovic. This guy's only 83 rated, but he is insane. Looking at his stats there, you can see he's got 87 diving, 86 reflexes, 86 positioning, and 54 speed which is fairly fast for a goalkeeper he's also six foot four i've used this guy in game and trust me guys he is insane for my two centre backs, we have Jesus or Jesus, whatever you want to call this guy, and Smolin. As you can see, the hybrid is already starting to form. We have a BPL player and a Serie A player there. They're both big players. Starting off with Smolin, as you can see, he's 6 foot 4, 76 pace, 83 defending, and 76 physical, which isn't too bad. Only cost me 2.3k, which was very cheap. Next to him, we have Jesus. This dude is OP as well. 6 foot 1, medium high work rate, which is insane for someone with a pace like him. His card is insane especially that 80 pace 80 defending and 84 physical he's just an op defender to use full backs we have zuniga on that side and walker on the other side starting us off with walker he's got 90 pace 80 physical 77 defending you guys probably know i'm using this guy for his pace he's insane in game he catches up to people only cost me 3.2k which is quite cheap and zuniga on the other hand 2.6k cost me he's a little bit slower but he's really effective in game 89 pace 74 physical 72 defending which isn't the best touch for a defender but in game he plays well midfield we have Melo, Fernandinho and Henderson these are really effective midfielders in game they play well starting us off with Henderson 74 pace 79 physical 70 defending 81 passing got a fairly balanced stat doesn't ever stat below 70 he's 6 foot as well and he only cost me 1.4k coins which wasn't too bad Fernandinho quite costly compared to the other midfielders 4.5k cost me 77 pace 80 dribbling 77 physical once again not a stat lower than 70 op player op card and finally we have Melo. i'm playing him as a cdm probably should have changed him to a cm or something he's another big midfielder he's six foot he's 73 pace 84 physical 79 defending only cost me 1.3k coins and he's another midfielder without a stat that's lower than 70 and up top to complete the squad we have walcott well back and anderson starting off with anderson here he has 92 pace 85 dribbling I've used him in previous squad builders. This guy is insane to use. He also has 4 star weak foot and 5 star skills. Cost me 5,000 coins, but it's definitely worth it. Over on the other side, we have Walker as a right forward. You might have seen him in my England squad builder where I played him as a striker. This guy's OP, 96 pace, 81 dribbling. He's got high low work rates, which means he stays up, which is another reason as to why I use him as a striker. And it only cost me 8,000 coins, which wasn't too bad. And finally, we have the main man, world back up top. Six foot one he is, 85 pace, 80 dribbling, and 76 shooting. He also has 78 physical, which means he can actually power past most defenders. And at 2.4k coins, that's a pretty good deal. That's pretty much the team we're gonna be playing with today. It will cost you around about 45 to 50k coins probably drop in the future if you're enjoying this video so far make sure to drop a like as i've been very much appreciated and know in the comment section you guys have been leaving so many squads i'm working on all your squads guys trying them out seeing how they play the videos on some of your squads will actually be out soon so just stay patient and if you have any squads you want to suggest let me know down in the comment section nevertheless this is the team and let's jump into a game got Giroud up top though. Don't learn today. There we are. Walcott just does what he wants. Find Philippe Anderson. Come on, mate. Find Ah, oh, it's too late. Philippe Anderson. Across the net. Can you do it? 
keeper saves it. The keepers in this game, they're really good this year. And smash it, mate. Oh, he was blocked off there. We take the ball back. Fake shot. Roll in. Finesse. Whoa. Oh, snap. Oh, my freaking days. Casual. Oh, no. He's going to pass it. I knew it. I knew it. Well done. You're trying, bro, but not today. Fernandinho. Oh, Danny. And you curve it in for Lee Anderson. Booyah. Henderson touch. Now smash it. We know you can. How's that not sitting in the back of the net right now? This ref decides to end the game there. He's not offside and don't you dare say he is. Walk off. Finish. Why do they take forever to freaking blow for an offside? Don't you dare end the half when I'm on this run. Don't do it, ref. Walk up. You just can't stop him. Like, once he starts going with that 96 pace, you just can't touch him. Can't touch this. Oh, you touched my ta la la. <laughs> what the fuck? It's half time as you can see there guys, I've got more possession, we've literally both got one shot on target, nevertheless, I'm 1-0 with the lead, let's jump into the second half and take this win. We need movement. Ah, not enough movement. Roll back, win that. There we go, boom. That's what I'm talking about. This is movement. This is movement. Pass, turn in, walk up. Oh, for goodness sake. Here we go. No, 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 no. How did he actually score that? Come on, well back. We know you're strong. Ah. Is that a free kick? What? Come on. Well back. Oh, for goodness sake. Okay, man. Oh, no. Get out of here. I, I'm, I'm done. I'm actually done. Oh, what a save. What a stop. No. Oh, Andonovic. He got to that somehow. We need to make moves, guys. Ten minutes left, pretty much. Ball cut. Who are going to give it to? Freaking, you better score from this. Touch. Finesse. There we freaking go. I had to do that. I wasn't going to take the free kick normally because I should have got a goal earlier. So I deserve that goal. No, I ain't letting you score. Are you mad? Are you, are you actually mad? Are you actually mad? You got this. No, you're not going through me. Not today. Do what you need. I ain't letting you through. Nah, mate. Nah, mate. Are you freaking done? Felipe Anderson for the third goal in extra time. I mean, if that's not how it's done, then someone needs to freaking teach me because that was an insane goal. Is the referee gonna save him by blowing the whistle now? Or does the referee just wanna watch him suffer? Okay. His keeper's not getting there first. Aww, yeah. Aww. Oh, 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 wow, he gives me enough side. But we all know that should have probably been a goal. Why you always lying? Mm, oh my god. That is pretty much the end of the game, guys. I won that game 3-1. Might have even been 4-1 towards the end. Man of the match was Theo Walker with a 9-point keeper played all right as well. As for goals, Philippe Anderson got one, Theo Walker got one, and Melo eventually scored. It was a tie game up until the end where I started scoring for fun. Once again, this is the team for anyone looking to build it. It'll cost you between 45 to 50k coins, but there's no doubt in the future the price will drop. It's quite OP with fast fullbacks, fast forward, and a strong striker. So yeah, if you're in need of a 50k team, or a team around about that price range, definitely try this out most expensive player on this team by far was the goalkeeper he did well I mean in that game he only conceded one so it wasn't too bad if you did enjoy this video make sure to drop a like as that will be very much appreciated subscribe if you enjoy watching FIFA 16 content that's about it from me today this is team at signing out thanks for watching guys and see ya <laughs> This is the end of the video, hi. If you enjoy, just comment and subscribe. Wanna see more? Don't forget to leave a like. Do it! <laughs> this is T Max signing out.